Welcome to Life with Kuni Cry and I. In my videos, I will be showing the critters in my life. So set back and enjoy Life with Kuni Cry and I. Babies everywhere. I've been cooking and feeding and 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 haven't taken any video tonight of babies eating for hours because I can't. Babies, babies everywhere, babies. They've been eating for hours. This is the first time I was able to turn the camera on because I have probably cooked 15 or more pots of oatmeal tonight. It's been crazy and the amount of rice and dog food has just been crazy. And I don't think I'm going to get much video tonight because we're almost out again. I'm throwing pots of oatmeal out into bowls uh, as fast as I can cook them. And I can't even videotape because um, all I'm doing is cooking oatmeal as fast as I can throw it out. This porch has been full of babies. I don't even know if it's still only three litters tonight. I have been, I have seen babies on this porch for probably three hours. Every time I open the door, they go to the edge of the porch. I, the pot that I cook in only fills two-thirds of one bowl and I'm going back and forth filling a rice cooker filling a microwavable pot of oatmeal and I've been doing it for hours and hours it's it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start cooking three or four hours before the sun goes down I'm like, it's, it's, these babies are growing and their appetite is just immense, immense. And I feel sorry for the possums. Um, only Sweet Pea shows up before everyone else. I seen Sweet Pea as I was throwing out pots of oatmeal earlier, but... The possums show up normally about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning after all the, the um, coons are gone. But as the babies are getting bigger, their appetite is getting more fierce. And I honestly can't seem to cook enough oatmeal in several hours to feed coons. It is, I'm not even positive how this is going to work much longer. I'm going to have to, I guess, start cooking about noon. I, um, this is like, wow. But nothing else seems to go over like the oatmeal. And they're arguing over oatmeal right now because it's going down. It takes, in the microwave, two, two minutes and 22 seconds is what I put on the microwave, microwavable pot. And um, the rice cooker, <laughs> wow, they're throwing, they're throwing water all over. Sorry, guys, if you can't see, I'll move the camera a little bit. Um, one pot after another, 
one rice cooker after another and I can't cook it fast enough for them. And they're, they're upset because there's not enough out here. I am. Um, And it all was started over throwing a bag of garbage on my porch when I cleaned my kitchen one night. And I found it all over the yard the next day, you know. I wanted to know what was tearing up the, the garbage on my porch. So now I found out. And, and this is, um, their appetites are getting are growing as these guys grow up. Um, they're cute. Here, I'm gonna leave the camera here and I'm gonna try to go get maybe a bucket of, of um, dog food to see if we can supplement them for uh, a few minutes so you guys can see a little bit of video of them, but... Baby's still here? Yeah, they're still here. And uh, the cat's running through the house. All excited that the coons are here. see if maybe that satisfies them for a little bit. I don't know. Oh, the baby grabbed the bone. I had chicken for lunch. As you can see, I've got dog food and I've got old, an old cookie of mine in um, the bowl. And the oatmeal is um, pretty popular. And here's uh, Tony, Tony's babies. Mama's been here, Tony's been here, um,
Miss Piggy is always here. Miss Piggy went miss a meal um, for anything. Um, if she keeps eating the way she's eating, you know she's not going to be on my my uh, channel very long. She's going to be on that show, My 1000 Pound Life, or something like that it's called. Because this, this coon here eats enough to where she's eventually going to be a thousand pounds. This, this coon eats more than the pigs that I had when I had pigs in California on my property. This coon right here, right that one eats more than I eat. Yeah, but she's going to eventually um, need uh, Weight Watchers. I don't, I don't understand where she puts it all. Hi, Tony. Oh, Miss Piggy. I hope I'm... Miss Piggy is challenging Tony's babies, and Tony isn't even watching. Tony is... And Miss Piggy's babies are over there. Well, I live in a bad neighborhood, and I don't think I have to worry about people breaking into my house at night. I don't know who would come, who in this neighborhood, even in this neighborhood, would be tough enough to think about coming up on my deck because of all these coons. Who needs watchdogs when you have a half a dozen coons on your porch? How you doing, sweetie? How you doing, honey? No. Hi. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Oh, my. It is so hot out here. When I'm opening the door, I can hear them panting. It is so hot. Everyone on this video knows what an oven feels like when you open it. That's almost what my door feels like when I'm opening it at almost 11 o'clock at night. I can feel the hot air coming in. It is so hot.
And when I opened the door, I could hear them panting. I almost spill. I th Boy, I have I have cerebral palsy, so I have trouble standing up and keeping my balance. There's no way I could pull off some of these moves these coons make. Okay, you girls need to leave each other's kids alone. You know, I am inside and I can hear Miss Piggy panting. Not because she's out of breath, because she just oh, made a move on another coon out of anger. But it is that hot. The way it's going, I almost feel like Something's going to happen to that coon. She always lays on the porch like she's tired. And she's always panting. And tonight she's having a really hard time. Yeah, lay down. Catch your breath. She's panting like an old dog that's just having issues. Hi, this is Cry. If you like Mama's videos, please hit like and subscribe. Please come back to see us. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.